Something you good? wrong? No, are you Have good? I done something to fuck you off? Have I done something to fuck, fuck you off, off, mate? Yeah, I've done something to fuck you off. Welcome to a Halloween special. Mate, Halloween. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Yeah. Welcome to a Halloween special. Oh, didn't like that. Um, welcome also if you're watching on YouTube. This is our first full episode on YouTube. Usually mm. we're just the podcast and little snippets. Yes, like TikToks and Reels and stuff, but we yep. thought we'd do this because it's a bit fun. Um, coming up today we have, there's always an, a, a bit of a debate in Australia about is Halloween an American thing? We're not allowed to do it here. Fun police. Yeah. We'll also have a review of Scream that we've both watched in the mm-hmm. last 24 hours, the yes. original 1996. And uh, Good re- job at remembering the year. Well, the reason I know that is because when I typed in Scream into Netflix, there's like a thousand different versions because there's like the TV, the TV show, show and the sequel. Yeah. And I was like, I just want the Wikipedia 1996 one. And do you remember as well because it like came out on your 21st birthday? Is that an old joke? Yeah, it was. Do we do those? No, we don't. No. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Yeah, thank I was you. three when that came out. I was born in 93. Whoa. That's you cook are, day. Yeah, that is cook. Yeah. Um, speaking of cook, do we want to describe what we're wearing? Um, yes. Yeah, so for anyone that's not watching on YouTube and you're just listening to this pod in your ears, um, you can get it anywhere. Um, Ryan looks <laughs> <Right>. abs <laughs> I mean you can if you want to. Um, Ryan's wearing an absolutely dashing witch's hat with an orange cobweb on the top with a little spider. And it's Was actually that a cobweb? Got- I thought it was like a mullet. Well, no, the cobweb is the spider's web. Oh, my mistake. Yeah, and then it's got a wig on the back, an orange wig. And would you describe your head as a big head? <laughs> or is this a child's hat? Do you mean like hat? egotistically or no, like just physically? physically. <laughs> I do have a big head and it it's actually, this is so lame, it's hard for me to find a hat Yeah, because I've got a big fat head. I can tell. A- and when I was at the store, I there was like a little aisle at the supermarket because it's like Halloween time, yeah. so there's like the costumes. Yeah. And I said this on another episode, but I literally was looking through the stuff and I said, hi, do you have this in a certain size? And the person said, what age is the child? Yeah. So, I mean. Oh, no, it's for this. this adult person. person. Um, but I think you've done a good job. Thank and you. I also did some makeup on you, um, but I will not take any ownership over one part of it. So I gave you a little scar. But I did the smudge. Um, and a little skull and crossbones, which actually looks a bit like a butterfly, <laughs> um, and some winged eyeliner because I thought it went with your, you know, your witchy theme. Yep. But you smeared white paint on your face like a American Footballer. football player. Yep. Yeah. Why do they do that? Uh, I believe it's the reflection from the lights. It, like... Oh, I think I may. It's have got just an made actual purpose. I believe it's not just to look like a gangster. Well, yeah, I, I didn't mean, know what it was for. I mean, that's obviously why they actually do it. Yeah, but, but it also sure, has benefits. I think because it's something, yeah, about the lights hitting your eye and yeah, like I believe. the sweat like bouncing off or something. Yeah, I don't know, but it's something to do with the light. Yeah. Oh, because they black. do they play at night? Yeah, are oh. you joking? Yeah. No, Friday I've never lights. watched American football. Friday Night Lights. Oh, movie. my God, I get it now. Thank yeah, you. no, I've w- never watched like American football. You are wearing a beautiful cape. Thank you. My mum made me this cape. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, that's cute. And you also asked me to draw a Harry Potter scar on you. I said I don't know what that means. Expelliarmus. Yep. Uh, Ryan Every said, time you do that, I think you're being the girl from Little Mix pretending to do a Bahamas accent. I don't know what that is. Can I look that up? Oh, body. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not, what, yeah. Oh, is that not the thing I'm doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's a vine. It's a really popular yes. vine. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I asked Ryan to draw a Harry Potter scar on my forehead, even though I've already got a massive fucking scar on my forehead. Mm. It's What's not a scar Harry- from? Um, I actually, I think that when I was little, I like walked into a door frame and my head just split open. Really? Yeah. And there, because there was like, you, do you remember those like, it's on, oh, it's an old house thing, the, um, sliding doors that were like hung on the, like on a roller. So yeah. they don't like slide on runners. It's like hung on the thing yeah. and you can like slide it across, but it's not attached to anything. Like yep. I don't really know what they do. We had one of those and I think I might have been like running through the door and maybe my sister like pushed it shut and I went into it 
and spl- split my head, head open. Whoa. And I got um, stitched up in the doctor's surgery, didn't even go to hospital. Tough bitch. Um, and then my dad took the door down. He was like, yeah. we're not letting another injury occur. Right. Um, anyway, um, but Ryan said, well, I don't know what that is. And I said, haven't you seen Harry Potter? And he said, I don't like shit films. We all know that Tony's choice, not that Harry Potter may be one of these, but Tony's choice of movies it's not your strength recommending good films. It's obviously not yours either, mate, because you reckon Harry Potter's shit. You're an idiot. I just, when it's hard to believe, thus it's, you know, it's a fantasy world or whatever. I, do, I can't, yeah. Like, that's not just Harry Potter. Like, if there's things that aren't real or unrealistic, I just mate, can't get into it. Your favourite movies are bank heists and stuff like that. That's not they really real. Have- no, not the way no that... No one's ever stolen money from a bank. Mate, but it's not like shit like Ocean's 11, 12, 13 and 8 are going on all the time. It's... <laughs> I can't take you seriously Aren't with they? that. The hair, the flick that you just did is so funny. <laughs> I also have taken my fake Halloween teeth out because it turns out I couldn't talk in them. Yeah, they look quite funny. And though. I had a, a graphic mask as well and it also covered my mouth so I would... Yeah, so a lot of the things that you purchased aren't, weren't really ideal. No, no, but I stand by them. Um, lots of people who have found us, Tony, mm-hmm. via Instagram Reels, TikTok, have enjoyed the things you can say in the bedroom and somewhere else or the original... The pickup lines. The pickup lines. Yep. So we thought for our Halloween, Halloween special, we would have some Halloween pickup lines. Yep. And I am ready to go to be picked up. <clears throat> hey Ryan, show me your Halloweener. <laughs> Sorry, did you say Halloween, or were you wanting to say Hello Peen? <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Are you a corpse? Because you're making me stiff. <laughs> <laughs> Rigor mortis. Oh my god, like Rick and Morty. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I was actually considering dressing up like a pirate just for this pickup line. Nice. Okay, but so I didn't. I couldn't I... find a pirate outfit. Pretend I'm a pirate. Should I imagine you're a pirate? Okay. I might not be dressed up as a pirate but I know where I'd like to bury my treasure. <gasps> oh, X marks the spot. In you, by the way. Just like, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's not over. Oh, I just thought oh, it was. Oh, no, it was. Oh. It's always over before you. <laughs> <laughs> not in that hair. <laughs> What's up, beautiful? Boo. Oh, yeah, now. Yep. Like a ghost. Oh, I hate it here. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. <laughs> I must be a zombie and you must be my first victim because I am ready to eat you. <sighs> That's quite sexy. The hair. It's the hair is really doing it for me. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Ryan, if you come home with me, I won't ghost you. Damn straight. Yeah. And how? Yeah. Ooh. Ectoplasm. What's that? Um, It's from Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll never say it again. Don't worry. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Tony. Hey. (laughs) I hope you enjoyed trick or treating because if I can trick you out of those pants, I'll be treating you all night. (gasps) That is sexy. That's a sexy thing to say. You're a sexy witch. Thank you. Did you know that the human body has 206 bones? Want to give me another one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this may be similar to before. Should This one if I was dressed as a skeleton. Okay, yeah, great, 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 great. You might not find this humorous, nice. but I would give you a bone. Oh, yeah. And yeah, nice. And <clears throat> Hey, Ryan, trick or treat, more like dick or treat. (laughs) I just love the aggression. Yeah. (laughs) I feel like it needs aggression when you say the word dick. Yeah. Dick. It's not the same as being like, hey, babe, do you want to... Stop saying babe. Stop calling me babe. Hey, Tony, do you want to come here and suck on my thing? (laughs) It's not the same as being like, dick. To be honest, if you said, hey, do you want to suck on my dick? I still wouldn't. (laughs) It doesn't matter how you say it. 
Tony, I'm going to call you. <laughs> hey, Tony, I'm going to call you my scary werewolf because you're going to be howling all night. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, woo! That was such a good howl. And I'm back how? to my place and I'll just show you more of where that came from. Oh, my God. I really like that. I actually don't have any more, but that one was really good. Thank you. I'll make you howl all night. <laughs> hey, Tony, you can call me. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Tony, you should call me your broom because, Tony, you big witch, you're going to be riding me all night. <sighs> I'm dressed as a witch. <laughs> well, wizard. Harry Potter is technically a wizard. Oh, sorry. I'll rearrange my joke then. <laughs> <laughs> You're my Nimbus 2000, which is a joke that you don't get because you haven't seen Harry Potter. It's a real waste. It's occurred to me a lot during the week when we were talking about costumes and when we were getting dressed earlier that mm. you believe Halloween is Harry Potter. No, I don't. So when we were discussing it's... Halloween movies, I'm surprised you were like, oh, should we watch The Philosopher's Stone or should we watch Argabas's Stone? <laughs> Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's been but, so much Harry Potter chat. It's not a Harry Potter week. It's Halloween. No, I know, but it's I'm dressed as Harry Potter, which is why it's making me think of that. Mm -hmm. But it's not Harry Potter week. I know that. But you can dress you know as that? anyone. Do you know that? You can dress up as anyone. That's very inclusive of you. Thank you. So a lot of people in Australia mm -hmm. chat about... There's every year there's sort of these party pooper fun police about like it's just an American thing. Yep. Australians don't do it. I know in my street, not just my area, my street, which only has 10 or 12 houses, I reckon four or five of them have like skeletons in the window and stuff on the front fences and it's like it's like fun and exciting and I whatever. think it's really nice. And I was thinking like even if it is from some other place, isn't everything from some place? Oh, oh you guys eat pizza. Oh. It's more of an Italian thing. Yeah, and it's fucking delicious. It is delicious. Oh, you guys going to have curry? Oh, it's a bit of an Indian thing. Fuck off. It's yum, and yeah. I don't care where it's from. You know where it's going to be? In my tum. Myself. <laughs> I, <don't know> <laughs> myself. I, I was going to say my stomach and then turn into one of the gangster. But I just <laughs> don't understand this. It's not from here, so we shouldn't do it. Yeah. Like, imagine how boring your life would be if you just didn't have fun with other fun things. And you never did anything from somewhere else. Yeah. I think especially as a kid, and I, so I'm 27 now, so yep. it's, it's changing a bit, but when I was a kid, yeah, it was like absolutely not. I remember my friends talking about Halloween and being like, oh, my parents aren't into that and, you know, oh, you can't let your kids walk around. But, like, you do it before dark. It's, it's fine. You know, it's in Melbourne. It's daylight savings anyway. It's light till so 8.30. It's light till 8 o'clock and, yeah. you know, little kids are only going out with their parents for an hour or two. I actually love it. My niece and nephews love it. Like, they froth it. They love getting to, you know, dress up. Do you and hate that you're in an apartment so you're not going to have people come knock on the door? I actually do hate that. Yeah. I, I think that there's probably been a post in our, because our apartment complex has yep. like a Facebook group. Um, oh, it's actually kind of handy, even though a lot of the time it is people complaining about, like, someone's parked in my car park yeah. or, like, why is the mail room unlocked and stuff, um, you know, classic. But um, that if someone posted in there and they were like, oh, would you be happy for us to come to your house? Hell yeah. Like, I love it. Do you want to come around to my place on Halloween? Because we'll have kids come and knock. Will you actually? Yeah, because oh, yeah, we're in the street. like a house. Yeah. yeah, and a little cul-de-sac as well. Yeah. A what? A cul-de-sac. A court? A cul-de-sac. It's actually called a court. You you don't live on a court. I live on a street. Yeah. With a dead end. <laughs> so it's not, but your street isn't called like Ryan's Str Court. It's no, called Ryan's street. street. Yeah. So it's not a court. Or a cul-de-sac. It's just a street. No, but a cul-de-sac, anyway, we digress. We got it. Um, There's a whole episode on what to call a street and it's as exciting as it sounds. Yeah, it's very good. It's, it's riveting stuff. But... A few weeks ago we were talking, I don't even think it was on the podcast, but you said something that I found quite scary. Mm. Oh, Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> um, do you like The Simpsons? I love The Simpsons. Yeah. Halloween episode, not for me. What the fuck? I don't get it. Every Well, not that I don't get it and maybe not even I don't even enjoy it, but if I sit down to watch The Simpsons and because you know how it's got like a Halloween intro. Yeah. As soon as I see that I go, oh. 
a Halloween one. I love the Treehouse of Horrors. Because usually it's like three stories in one, yeah. right? And yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's the believability thing or it's just like too ab- – like, I just I don't – I just love regular Simpsons so much. I don't need a Halloween episode, says the guy doing a Halloween episode of his own show dressed like a fucking idiot. Whose show? Of their show. <laughs> His own show. Congratulations on your own show. I didn't say own. I said his. You said his own show. As in, like, this is my show. Oh, is it? What's your show? Actually, I've got a contract that says, actually, it's 50-50. Well, it is 50-50. But it's still, I mean, like, it's not some other person's show. It's the show that I do. Oh, so is it your show? If someone worked on the, you're fucking having the time of your life. (laughs) If, If someone worked on The Simpsons and they were like, Oh, Our show. Do you work on Our Will and show. Grace? Oh, no, my show is The Simpsons. That's the show no, I work on. No, you wouldn't say that. You'd just say, I work on this show. Okay, but if this I is work, your show, no, that's fine. No, no, I'm I glad just, that I rock up to support you, I mate. I'm work glad to be Lodge. here. I'm just the butter to your bread. Mate, Just the, the butter heat is to your on bread. you and you don't like it. I don't like it. But, I don't like the heat at all, especially because I've got makeup on and it's starting to run. <laughs> and I don't like the heat because I'm wearing a stupid hat and the heat can't get out through your head, which is where the heat gets <laughs> Huge head. Um, I really like the Simpsons Halloween episodes. I So this is a little bit off topic, but I actually love TV for all seasons of the year. So at Christmas time, you know how everyone's like, I love watching Christmas movies. I love that too. But I love watching Christmas episodes of TV shows because they're always so good and they are wholesome as fuck. And in the last year, Stan, which is like a streaming platform in Australia. Yep, which is what Scream was on. Oh, I couldn't find it on Stan. What did you watch? I on? bought it on Apple. You fucking idiot. It's oh, on Stan. Fuck mate. me. Anyway. I was like, good from Stan. Yeah, that is good surprised. from them. Yeah. Um, they did like a section and it was like Christmas favourites. And every single TV show that they had a Christmas ha- yeah. had a Christmas episode was in like this one playlist, which I thought was so cool. That is cool. Yeah. Um, but I like Halloween episodes too. I think they're really fun. Well, yeah, now I just feel like a Grinch. Oh, well, sorry that I love celebrating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that makes me feel not like a creature. <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, one thing I will say in defence of people who are a bit like, I don't get Halloween. Yes. This is one thing that I – someone explained it to me and I was like, you're right. The concept of it's fun – to be, like, scared and it's scary movies and it's scary costumes. Yes. How fun is it to pretend to be scared? I live in Australia. We have snakes. It's scary all, all the time. Year. You go for a swim in our country, you'll probably get eaten by a shark. Sharks. That's fucking scary. Or Irukandji jellyfish. Fuck off. Jellyfishes are the... Oh, nah, nah, I've nah. been stung by a jellyfish before on my face. Did someone have to piss on you? It was, like, re- literally right here. Did someone piss on your face? No, they didn't. Do you want me to? Uh, you can, but... No jellyfish. Oh, jellyfish. Oh, what? <laughs> um, if you open a cupboard, you'll probably get attacked by spiders. Probably. Or if you put your feet in a shoe that's been outside for more than three minutes, dead. Have you ever seen those kangaroos kick? They punch. Yeah, they're Fuck fucked. That. So when Emus, s- peck your face off. So when someone says, oh, how fun is it pretending to be scared? I live in Australia. I'm fucking terrified the whole time. It's scary all the time. And also, I mean, the hole in the ozone layer, terrifying. Skin cancer is a pandemic. Epidemic. Wait. (laughs) It's a pandemic of sun. My hair's going orange. (laughs) That's how hot it is here. (laughs) Every week on the podcast, we choose a movie. The people in the Tony and Ryan Patreon were given the options of about four or five scary movies. And I didn't even bother checking the final numbers because it was just scream. Mm -hmm. The original... 1996, and I didn't read much about it beforehand because like, you just kind of remember stuff in pop culture. Yep. We were having a field day with the, oh, that's that guy. Yes. Oh, she ended up being this. Monica. From yeah. Fr- was this, I think it was one or two years after Friends had started. Yeah, so it would have been at the same time, yeah. How did they get her? I know. <laughs> they would have cost them a fortune. But also- were Friends big from day one? Yeah. So yeah. Have years. you watched the Friends reunion? Oh, bits of it, most oh, of it. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, because they like talk about that. It's like, big straight away. Basically, yeah, it just went gangbusters. But, so for her to sign on to a movie after two seasons, like, yeah, that would have cost a fortune to not even be the main character as well. Yeah, like, I mean, she's a big part of the story, big, but it's when you, I guess, as a whole, you wouldn't say like it's based on her. No, definitely not. Yeah, but so is that where her and David Arquette met? I assume because so. they were married. They're not married for anymore. Fifteen, twenty years. Yeah, and they're like kind of da- not dating, but they're like 
flirty in the show. Yeah, they are. And I, again, knew that, but it wasn't until I rewatched it that I kind of went, oh, they of got course, married. They're like, like they yeah. Got, yeah. So I'd never actually watched Scream before. Um, yeah, this is actually my first time. So I watched it this morning. Have I've you never watched, watched a scary it movie? Yes. Did you get confused about which was which because they're so similar? <laughs> yeah, well, and then the things that I felt like I remembered from watching Scary Movie however many years ago, that was a bit blurry. So I was like, I think I know who, like, the murderer is because of X, Y, Z and whatever, but I was way off. I thought it right. was. So in Scary Movie. Actually, it just occurred to me that you watch a spoof movie without watching the original, so literally yeah, so I every just found joke. it really scary. No, but, like, how did you enjoy Scary Movie because you didn't have any of the context yeah. of any of the No, jokes. so I just thought it was, like, dumb and weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, like, actually scary because I didn't realise that, like, the send-ups, like the popcorn thing, you know, when she's doing the popcorn. Yeah. But in Scary Movie it ends up, like, bigger than an elephant. Yeah. It's, like, huge. Um, anyway, I think from memory, please correct me if I'm wrong, that in Scary Movie it's the cop that does it, right? Oh, yes. He's uh, called Doofy. Doofy. Yeah. And so you're watching Scream going, and oh, And I'm like, David oh, Arquette. David Arquette has done it, which obviously, um, no fucking spoilers, it came out in 1996. He didn't um, do it. it is the boyfriend who yep. is deathly handsome, if I do say so he myself. Is. He's also in, what's that show that's, oh, that's going to really annoy me. Oh, I don't know. Uh, We're doing that thing that people hate. Where we try to figure out movies yeah. that's really obvious. Yeah. Uh, Riverside. River, Riverdale. Riverdale. Right. He's the dad. Oh, sure. Um, But the first movie, as you said before, if this is the first time you've ever listened, we review a movie every week. The very first movie we ever reviewed was He's All That, the 2021 remake of She's All That. With Um, um, Addison Rae is in the remake. Playing herself. As a TikToker, like she's Insta famous. And we were talking about the movie and we said, oh, my God, the principal is the guy from Scooby-Doo. And, Ryan, you said, yeah, it's good to see he got another job. (laughs) And we semi-roasted this guy. Yeah, we were kind of like, fuck, he's been in nothing else. All good. Anyway, the episode goes live. We get rim-jobbed online (laughs) for saying that Matthew Lillard, I'm pretty sure is his name, um, was from Scooby-Doo because he's fucking, you know, like a return to form. He's like well, the he best actor ever. he was in the original ever. She's All That. Yeah, but Hence we did, why he was in that. But we Little didn't know did we that. Know. <laughs> and then everybody was like, he's been in millions of things. He's he's such an amazing actor. He's so accomplished. Like n- no one's a better actor than Matthew Lillard. I don't think anyone said that. And no then, one went that far. And then I flicked on screen this morning before you came <laughs> and picked me up for work and who's fucking in the movie Matthew Lillard I from Scooby Doo. I literally <laughs> was watching Scooby, and again, I've seen it many times before. I know he's in it, but I was watching it, and when he first comes on, the first thing I did was look at Bridget and go, "This fucking guy he's again! Everywhere. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Is there a movie that we can review that he's not but in?" He's not- <laughs> it's like when you are thinking about buying a car and you're like, oh, I'll get a red car. You never see red cars. And say. then all you see is red cars. Yeah, it's so funny. But so anyway, so he's in it. got a Tesla and then I thought about a Jack Tesla. Post. Yeah. And then all I see is Teslas now. Yeah. Yep. Same thing. And now I'm going to call him Matthew Tesla Lilliard because they're just on <laughs> every, just everywhere. everywhere you turn. Um, but reflection on the movie you know, right at the beginning, so where Drew Barrymore is like yep. the first character you meet, the whole movie would be fucked if she didn't have a cordless phone. She does have a cordless phone. But if she didn't have a cordless phone, mm-hmm. the movie would have been fucked. Why? Because she picks it up, walks around, goes outside, and her parents realise that she's been murdered because she's still on the line and they, like, walk out and find her yeah. hung in the tree. And I was like, if she didn't have that Uniden cordless phone, the movie wouldn't have been good because she, she would have just been like, I'm in the kitchen, and they would have been like, oh, go to the front door. She would have been like, I, I can't because I'm stuck in the I'm kitchen. Stuck here, yeah. Because we weren't allowed a cordless phone as kids. 
You weren't allowed it. No. So I. Why well, was it too risque? Well, no. I mean, we know what happened to Drew Barrymore. <laughs> I mean, of course. Maybe my you dad watched that and was like, no fucking way. <laughs> Not my kids. I really wanted a cordless phone because you see them in the movies all the time on the Babysitters Club. They've got like the phone in their room. Well, I think when the. Because usually it's like the phone's in the kitchen and that's where the family is. And so, like, you're talking to your friends and you, like you. You like want to talk about boys or something. Yeah, and you're like. <laughs> Yeah, I can't talk to you about that yeah, right no, now, Chantel. That. Like, um, and I really wanted a cordless phone. And my dad said that there'd be no way because do you know what people do, Tony? They walk around on the streets with their cordless handset waiting to connect with someone else and then they make long-distance phone calls and it costs a fortune. He's made a jump to long-distance because, oh, you don't have a cord. Oh, I'll just call Canada. Yeah, no, but that he's like other people can connect to your docking station if they've got the same type of phone and it connects into your system. That's thing, Dad. No, there's just no fucking way. No, no fucking way. Um, and so when I saw her with the cordless phone, it did struck, like, strike a bit of a chord for me because I was like, oh, I wasn't allowed that Uniden phone um, and she had it and it got her murdered. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> who did things work out better for? Yeah, I'm alive. Is it crazy to think that Drew Barrymore, because when you see, like that's the probably the most well-known scene is that sort of start sequence, yeah. that you're like, oh, that's it for her. Yeah, and then she's just gone. Because it's we now know it's Drew Barrymore. Yeah. You assume, oh, she's going to be a big part of this movie yep. and she's really not. And then she's dead. Do you not realise that in Scary Movie her name's Drew? Oh, I just never even. Goodbye, Drew. Oh, I just never even. Yeah, because you watched them the wrong way Yeah, around. I did watch them the wrong way around. But... I love seeing... For me, it was the people who've gone on to do stuff yeah. and then the people who have not gone on to do stuff, gone stuff was quite interesting as well. But one thing that just irks me and I just didn't get is how dumb high school people are. Like if three people have been murdered and then someone rocks up with a knife, would you go, oh, it's just Randy playing games? It's like, yeah. well, maybe it is Randy playing games or maybe three people have Three real people are now real dead. Maybe I'll just assume that a guy chasing me with a knife is actually not a nice guy and maybe I'll just run instead of being like, oh, Randy, nice joke. Yeah, there's oh, a serial... like hope I'm in the sequel, like fuck off. There's a serial killer on, on the, the loose. loose. Fucking run. Yeah, I know. I know. That really annoyed me. I was annoyed, obviously, through the film. I was like, God, her boyfriend's an asshole. He is. Because he keeps, like, going, like, boo and, like, rah and stuff and scaring her, like, when he comes to the front door and he's like, yeah. ah. Um, and I was like, what an asshole. Like, she's really scared. Her mother was murdered, God rest her soul. Yep. Um, and then he's like, oh, all good, like you've been threatened to be fucking killed and, you know, attacked and raced through your house or whatever. Obviously, in the end, he's not a nice guy. No. He kills well, everyone. I don't think he was a nice guy ever anyway. No, but, like, it is then found that yeah, he's, he's not, a, not, nice. not a good person. Um, but the people in the school, like, running around with the masks and doing all that stuff, like... That's a really fucking shit thing to do Absolutely. when actual people are getting actual dead. Like you said, I can't believe it. And when they're like, we're going into a curfew, I was like triggered because Same. COVID. Um, I did think that as well. But they're like, we're going into curfew, school's closed, and they're all just like, fuck yeah. Let's, let's have a party. party let's and I'm like, hey, I don't know if you realise this, some of your friends have been murdered dead. And, and they're hanging by their organs from trees. Yeah. I reckon just like even if a few days off might be great because you don't have to go to school, I reckon just be cool. And also chill. they're in a curfew but the cop drops them off at a party. Where underage drinkers are happening? Like. That's what I was like, are they breaking curfew? Do they want COVID? Do they know what's <laughs> going to happen? But then it occurred to me, because I was the same thing, I'm like, I thought there was a curfew. Why are they going to a party? Mm. And then there's this scene and uh, there's like the smallest thing to be going on. They're like, oh, guys, party's over. Curfew's almost up. So they went to a party knowing that curfew started at 9 p.m. So they're like, oh, let's go out and have a rager. Got to leave by 8.30. Yeah, let's break Don't the law bother. because we're underage drinking, but then, oh, we better, like, abide by the rules. But if someone goes, I'm having a big house party come around, you need to leave by 8.30, would you just not bother? That actually sounds really good. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're right. That's a good out. Oh, I'm, I mean, I'd love to stay. I mean, the fucking curfew, I'd love mate. To stay the I've got to go. I've got to go. It's the law. <laughs> I ain't no lawbreaker out here. <laughs> so now that you've seen it, though, and mm -hmm. knowing that, actually, here's one more question. Yeah. I feel like it's it's iconic movie. Like it's it definitely, a, definitely a genre yeah. the, defining the fucking movie. mask. Yeah, as well, and everything. Yeah. Is it 
what it is because it's a great movie. Not that I'm saying it, it's not a great movie. Mm-hmm. Or is it just because of Courtney Cox and the mask has become <gasps> part of society? It's almost like a cultural phenomenon rather than like a cinematic phenomenon. Well, I mean, nothing from back then really is that much of a cinematic phenomenon because movies have come so far now. Like when you look at like groundbreaking Special oh, what about effects. Like Shawshank Redemption, oh, though. Or co- like, yeah, actually, sure, of course, that kind of thing. What's the one with um, Matt Damon and Robin Williams? I can't believe I don't know that. Goodwill Hunting. Like classic yep. stories. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I guess, like, though, with a scary movie, the thing about it isn't that it's an incredible story. Yeah. Um, except for, like, hide and seek. Did you think it was scary? Scream? Yeah. Oh, I think it's spooky because I'm always spooked when I'm home alone. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, but, like, in terms of. What actually happened? Like my boyfriend's never going to kill me. Like I can say that wholeheartedly. One hundred percent. Torbs is never going to kill me. So, dun dun dun. How awkward is going to be watching this back? Yeah. When at my memorial, <laughs> when Torbs is in prison, <laughs> um, <laughs> they play a video at the funeral. And like, well, here's where Tony claimed it wouldn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Or Torbs was like, it couldn't have been me. She said wholeheartedly, uh, I'd never kill her. Your Honour, I'd present you Exhibit A. Watch <laughs> this video. But it's you with that fucking wig <laughs> I also want to know, and maybe it means that I should just watch the other ones, the killer dies. So is the killer a different person in the other movies? Because there's like oh, five the screams now. Or a fifth Scream's, like, about to, to come, come out. out. That's a really good point So is in Scream 2, is it the same characters but a different person of them is a killer or is it, like, a different school? Or a or... copycat killer or something. Yeah. yeah. Also, the... Should we watch the second one next week? <laughs> For five weeks we just watch Scream. Scream <laughs> and then we watch Scary Movie Art. <laughs> and then it all makes you go, oh. Oh, that's quite I've watched funny, Scary actually. Movie ten times over the last 25 years and now I actually understand... Some of the jokes? Yeah, I actually should go back and watch that this weekend, I reckon. Scary movie, as someone who, like, loves kind of, like, goofball comedies and stuff, yeah. for me, like, that was just the pinnacle of, like, this is so funny. Yeah, okay. And the I'll one have not to watch an, it now that I've seen. And because we've watched He's All That or She's All That, whatever the original, that's the basis of Not, not another, another Teen, teen movie, movie, which is yeah. so great. So, yeah, so good, great. yeah. Um. Finally, just before we finish up the yes. Halloween episode, can you pass me my mask? <laughs> This is so fucking funny. It's so embarrassing. So um, if you're watching on YouTube, let me... Oh, sorry. Actually, can I show you... Will that work, you reckon? I don't know. Is that in between you and the camera? Yeah. All right, so this mask. How I would describe it as like a scary clown mask uh, and it's got like a jiggly eye because it's on a, the eyes on a spring. Yes. So it's kind of bobbling. Yeah. It's a pretty spooky mask. And... One of the eyes is bobbling and the other eye just has a spring sticking out of it. Yeah. Now, I assumed that that was part of the look. It's like, oh, it's old busted face. It's got a spring hanging out, blah, blah, blah. How cool. Like, it's got one good eye and one cooked one. (laughs) And, Tony, you saw this and went, oh, it's not a style. It's just broken. Well, so you pulled it out of your bag and I said, oh, did you break that? And you said, what do you mean? And I said, well, obviously that spring hanging off is not supposed to be like that. And then you went, that's a really good point. I thought this is what it was supposed to be like. Um, and to be honest, it does look very spooky with only the one eye. Mm. You look quite good, actually. See, I wore this last night when I, oh, sorry if this is really bad. I wore this last night. And um, the dog got freaked out and Bridget was like, no, take it off. She, like Bridget didn't like it. And, but you're saying you're attracted to this. We're not attracted, but I can't see your face, so you look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching and listening to the Halloween episode. Oh, my God, I love how you just did that as if you were finishing hosting SNL. It's been my dream my yeah. whole life. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> The cast of the crew. Thank you, Lord Michaels. Yeah, the, um, da- the, the band tonight. And, like um, <laughs> Jason Siegel for his puppeteering expertise. He was fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Absolutely love you. And we'll see you next week.